this is Michael from the Piano Technician Academy, and today we're going to be talking about key tops and why they change colors. So in my hand I'm holding a what we call a waterfall key top. This is one solid piece of plastic, it goes all the way around, this is the front of the key, this is the top of the key that you'd play, and this gets glued directly to the key stick. Um, I am sitting in front of a Yamaha piano. Yamahas do two parts. So this is one piece of plastic, the top part that you touch with your finger, and then there's another piece of plastic on the front. Um, for some reason, Yamaha pianos are kind of known for their fronts turning yellow. Um, I personally have a Yamaha C3 in my parents' home. It's our family piano, and that one is pretty yellow. Um, I've seen it on a number of Yamahas. There's really no repair for that. Um, some people will sand that down, but it's plastic, so then it just kind of makes it rough. But it does kind of make it look a little bit more like the right color. Other people will actually paint them. Not people, but piano technicians will take off the key sticks and they'll actually paint the fronts of the, of the plastic. Um, others will just literally replace key tops. Key top replacement for uh, naturals is not that crazy expensive. You usually can get it done professionally for about 450 bucks the entire set. Um, but that's, uh, that's what we call ivorine or ivory or plastic key tops. Um, they're basically plastic products that are made to look and feel like ivory. Now I am holding a case of ivory. This is um, real ivory um, that we've taken off of pianos before. And as you can see, they're, well, it's supposed to be color coordinated. Some of it's a little mixed up, but with these ones you have two parts. So if you look at this key here, you know, basically this is how they were doing it back then is they would have two parts like this. And the reason was it was really hard to find ivory that was just one big long piece like this. So what a lot of times when you notice, you know, you come to a piano and it's an ivory keyed piano and they're all different colors, the technician will a lot of times either pop them off and bleach them. They can do that with literally bleach or put it in the sun or UV lighting. Um, or they're just going to say, well, you're missing this one and I got this one piece that looks somewhat correct. So they've glued that piece on instead just to kind of match it. But that's kind of my spiel on uh, ivory and plastic and why piano keys change colors. If you guys have any questions, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.